everyone, welcome to today's Day Trading Recap, Wednesday, February 24th. It's a good day to be a trade hacker today, uh, plus $2,755 on the day. Biggest biggest day I've had in a while. Uh, so let's go through these. I'll show you what happened. First trade, or I should say uh, my one Mighty 90 trade in Tesla was winner for 220 did, uh, did two pairs trades today, one in gold versus silver. I was long silver, short gold for 243, and then long Dow versus short NASDAQ for 208. So 451 on the pairs trades. So for three for three on pairs trades this week. And then on the runners, the big winners, plus over $2,000 on runners here. Airbnb plus 280, Boeing, the, the monster, the beast to the upside, got us over 1,200. Small loss and beyond at the end of the day, DKNG plus 398, MU plus 291, and then Piton minus 14. So only two losers. There was an $82 loser and a $14 loser. Uh, the rest were big winners. So let's take a look at the trades. Let's start with the Mighty 90 in Tesla. So Tesla was pushing lower here uh, right into the unchanged mark and had some higher volume. So we got long right in this area. Not It was a little bit below the uh, the unchanged mark. It was a little above this pivot, about right here. Uh, it We got that push up initially, and then the second push, I ended up closing out right here at this pivot. Uh, I thought we may get some resistance there, which we actually did. It started to pull back pretty aggressively. So I was out of my entire position after that second green bar, but still booked 220. Uh, obviously, Tesla took off. Currently at the time of this recording up 5%. So Tesla catching a big bounce. On the runners, Airbnb for 280. So let's take a look at Airbnb. So in Airbnb, we had this uh, massive volume spike here about 20 minutes after the market opened. We were looking for a pullback. Got it right here. So we got long right here. Pushed up and uh, I closed out. I think I closed out. Yeah, I, I just closed out my entire position here. I closed out my first position or first half for about a 10% profit. And then when it pushed again, I ended up just closing it out, which ended up, you know, to me, that's a good decision because it just chopped around. I don't want to sit through all this, even though we did see higher prices later into the morning, I will take getting out here and not having to sit through that chop. So nice winner in Airbnb for 280. Boeing, my biggest winner. I think everybody's biggest winner in the community. Everybody's posting profits today. I don't think anybody had a, a red day that I saw, but Boeing just uh, took off like a beast to the upside, and we started getting long after this massive volume spike and this pullback right here. We started getting long right here, scaled out, uh, dipped back down, jumped back in, scaled out with some more, and I didn't jump in again. I don't. I think it was here. Here I jumped in. Maybe it was here. Yeah, I actually was here when I jumped back in with a couple contracts uh, and scaled out as it ran. And then I held my last contract all the way up to close to the pivot and closed out my last piece. Uh, Boeing just kept on going, Boeing up 6% now, but nice profit, over $1,200 in Boeing today. Uh, in Beyond, this was a, a late day trade. I actually posted this uh, after we stopped streaming in the uh, in the, in the uh, day trades channel, but uh Beyond all of a sudden got really strong and made a big push up, big spike in volume. So on this pullback back to yesterday's high, I got long looking for a continuation higher. It never happened. It just kind of broke down. And so when it when it broke down here, just closed it out. And I only had a couple contracts on. I was staying super small. Uh, so it took a loss of 82 bucks on that one. DKNG, another volume runner here, big spike in volume. So on this bounce... Uh, got long. Actually, I think this bar bounced. It, it closed lower, but I think I actually got short here. And then it pushed lower. I didn't, I was, I was a tick away from getting out of half my position right here. Uh, didn't get filled. And then it bounced. When it bounced up to this pivot, I added. So I scaled in with more size. And then it, this thing just fell apart. And so I booked out. I had all my, I, I was still holding on to a couple contracts here. When it started to bounce, I just got out of the rest. Uh, booked a nice profit of 398. Then MU, this was the last one we closed out. So we entered this right before we stopped streaming this morning. But MU tried to go negative a couple times, tried to go negative and bounced. And when it bounced up here, uh, kind of near the highs of the day, 
uh, got long. In fact, it was right here on this bar. Uh, started to push up. I didn't have an order in. I know Chad and, and some others had an order in to close half just on this bounce and they got out of a piece of it. I did not I just because I didn't have my order in. And then it just rolled over. I didn't add. I didn't do anything. I just held. And it finally reversed, came back up, got out of half about right here, and then got out of my last piece on this last push right here uh, for a nice $291 profit. And then lastly, Piton. Uh, Piton, another kind of late day trade. Uh, had this big flush lower, big volume. I was waiting for a little bounce to get short. Finally bounced back up to this pivot. I got I got short right here. Just on this little move lower, I was able to close out half my position for 10% profit. Held on to the last half, and when it pushed up, I was I had my finger on the trigger with a pretty short leash. Uh, and when it made this initial uh, this secondary push here, I just bailed on the last half. Ended up closing out net net for minus 14 bucks on the trade. But overall, over $2,700 profit on the morning. So a great day. Look forward to hopefully building on that tomorrow. Have a good day. We'll see you in the stream tomorrow.